A good morning, grade 10 learners. How are you today? Yes, you. You that is watching this Facebook live stream using your mobile device. I am glad to see you again and welcome to the eighth week of our discussion on plate tectonics. I am Maybin, your science teacher for today. In today's discussion, we are going to describe the possible causes of plate movements. Specifically, we are going to determine how convection current drives the movement of the plates. Are you excited to learn? Let's go! Let us explore the Earth's interior and discover the convection current in the mantle. To understand convection current, it is important that you have clear understanding of heat, heat transfer, and density. Now let us start with heat. Heat is the energy produced because of the movements of particles of matter. Now, when we say heat transfer, it is the movement of heat from one substance or material to another. Heat transfer takes place through three principles including radiation, conduction, and convection. Now, how heat affects the movement of particles? Let us watch this video showing the behavior of the particles of water in different temperature. You can see here the movement of the particles of water in cold temperature. What can you observe? All right, so you can see that the particles are in continuous motion. There are spaces in between. But what do you think will happen if we increase the temperature? Observe their movement. So we can see that as we increase the temperature, the movement of the particle also increases. So they move faster. And as they move fa uh, faster, the spaces between the particle also increases. This causes the substance to expand, which then results for the substance to have lesser density. Now, remember that temperature affects the density of a material. Now, let us de define density. When we say density, it is the measure of the amount of substance per volume. Take note that if we heat a substance, its particle expands, causing to have lower density. And if we decrease the temperature, if the substance is in cold temperature, its particles are more compact, causing it to have higher density. This concept is important in understanding convection current. Now let us define convection current. When we say convection, it is the transfer of heat or caused by the tendency of a hotter and therefore denser material to rise and colder, uh, less dense material to rise and colder, denser material to sink. Again, the hotter, the less dense material will rise while colder, denser material will sink. Now, to clearly understand this, let us watch this video showing the movement of water or, or the convection current in water. On this video, food color is added to clearly see the movement of water. The mug at the bottom contains hot water and serves as the source of heat. Observe what will happen as the water started to heat up. All right, so we can see that the water rises. It's because hotter temperature causes material to become less dense. So it rises towards the top. And as it reaches the top, we can observe a sideward movement of the water. As the water moves to the sides, its temperature decreases, causing it to become denser. 
That's the reason why you observe it is sinking on the side. When it reached the bottom again, it will be heated up, causing it to become less dense and rise and the circular motion of rising and sinking of denser material continues. And this is convection current. Now, this is exactly what happens in the mantle. Convection current also occurs in the Earth's mantle. The convection current in the mantle uh, is produced because of the heat coming from the Earth's interior, coming from the Earth's core. The molten rocks near the core is hotter, have higher temperature, causing it to become less dense. Since it is less dense, it will rise towards the asthenosphere. As it reaches the asthenosphere, it will move to the side and eventually decreases in temperature and sinks. It sinks because the decrease in the temperature, temperature causing it to become less dense. Again, the molten rocks will be heated. It will become less dense. It will rise up, moves to the side, decrease its temperature, become denser, and sinks. And this is how convection current occurs in the metal. But how this convection current drives the plate movement? Take note that as the uh, that as the that as molten rocks reaches the top it exert upward and sideward forces it lift and split the lithosphere at divergent plate boundary now as the molten rocks moves towards the asthenosphere it the molten rocks ooze out of the mantle ooze out of the crust uh cools down and forms new lithosphere. Now let us look at the sideway, uh, sideward movement of the molten rocks. The sinking of the denser molten rocks pulls down the lithosphere at divergent at convergent plate boundary. Again, the sinking of the denser molten rocks pulls down the lithosphere at convergent plate boundary. This causes the occurrence of subduction process. Remember, subduction is the sinking of denser lithosphere towards the mantle. So it is clear that the sideward movement of the molten rocks in convection current causes subduction process. And this is how convection current drives the plate movement. This convection current was proposed by Alfred Holmes. Alfred Holmes explains the mechanism of continental drift theory. According to Alfred Holmes, the continents are moving because of the flow of the molten rocks at the mantle, and it is convection current. So at this moment, we are going to check if you understand our discussion by having a short activity. On this activity, you are going to identify if the statement is correct. So you just key in legit on the comment section. And if the statement is false, you key in fake news. All right? Is that clear? So let us start with the first statement. Scientists believe that the plate movement is due to the convection in the Earth's core. Is it legit or fake news? Key in your answer at the comment section. All right, so the correct answer is fake news. So why do you think it's fake, new, uh, fake news? Let's take a look at the statement again. So it states here, that convection occurs in the Earth's core. So this is not correct because convection occurs at the Earth's mantle. All right? So let's move on to the second statement. 
in convection or in convection current, the hot, denser material rises while colder, less dense material sinks. Is it legit or fake news? The correct answer is fake news. So let us check again the statement. So it states here that hot, denser material rises. Take note that hot material is less dense. That causes them to rise. While colder material are denser, that causes them to sink. All right? Is that clear? So let's move on to the third statement. Hot molten rocks near the cross is less dense, causing it to rise to the asthenosphere. Is it legit or fake news? The correct answer is legit. Again, remember that convection current is produced due to the heat coming from the core. And molten rocks near the core is hotter, causing it to rise towards the asthenosphere so it is legit next let's have question or statement number four sideways movement of molten rocks lift and split the lithosphere causing convergent plate movement is it legit or fake news the correct answer is fake news so let's take a look at the statement again remember that the sideways movement of molten rocks causes the occurrence of divergent plate movement the sinking of the molten rocks pulls the lithosphere and that is the one that causes the occurrence of subduction process at the convergent plate boundary all right Let's move on to the last statement. Statement number five. The sinking of the denser crust pulls tectonic plate down, causing subduction of plate. Is it legit or fake news? All right, so the correct answer is legit. So, the sinking of molten rocks at convergent plate boundary causes the occurrence of subduction process. Congratulations, grade 10. It seems like you really understood our discussion a while ago. Now, at this moment, you can key in your questions on the comment section. And the moderator will choose three questions that I will try to answer. All right, so please write your questions at the comment section. At this moment, the moderator have already chosen three questions. So let me just read the three questions. So first question is, first question comes from student of Malinta National High School. What? is the source of heat in the earth's interior actually there are three main sources of heat in the earth's interior the first source of heat is when planet is created or formed which is not yet been um, lost the second is the grinding uh, grinding of the plates that also causes the production of heat and the third one is the uh, radiation coming from uranium that is found at the core. Next question. Next question is coming from the student of Dalandana National High School. How convection current affects the tectonic plates? So remember, I explained that the convection current in the mantle causes the movement of the plate. The rising of less dense molten rocks causes the sideways movement of the lithosphere at divergent plate boundary while
the sinking of the denser molten rocks pulls down the lithosphere at subduction zones. Okay, next question. The third question is coming from student of Parada National High School. Thus, convection current causes the occurrence of earthquake? The answer is yes. Remember that convection current causes the plates to move. And when the plates move, it results to different geologic events and processes, including earthquake, tsunamis, volcanic eruption, formation of volcanoes and mountains. So therefore, uh, the movement or convection current causes the occurrence of earthquake. So I hope I have answered your questions today. And for those questions that were not answered, that will be entertained by your teacher on your class discussion. So thank you for listening and have a good day.